Hi, I'm going to do something that I have never done before. I am going to show you how I set up WordPress and I'm going to do a screen share and we'll see if that works. There are several legacy functions in WordPress that are there by default that can really screw up your website. And when I set up a new website, I make sure that I tick all of these boxes. And if you want to do this yourself, this is a good checklist for you. So let's get into the WordPress admin. We're going to go to the cPanel, Installatron, and log into the WordPress admin from there. Here we are in the cPanel of our website hosting plan. And here is the so here is the website that I'm going to be looking at, and I can open up a new tab to show the website. This is 2023 by WordPress, and I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to click into the admin, which is the back end of the website. And here we have at the top of the page um, is the welcome to WordPress. Um, if you want to find out more about this version, you can click here and otherwise we can click dismiss. And this is the normal appearance for the admin page of your website in WordPress. And I'm gonna come down here and go to settings general. There are a couple of legacy things that WordPress still hasn't fixed, or, well, this is 2023 theme, maybe they fixed them here, but the, the site title is up here. You know, usually it says my um, blog, um, I'm just going to say, 2023 for the purposes of this demonstration and usually it says no just another just another wordpress site but we're going to say just another tap success site most of the rest of this is normal for me and it's probably normal for you this page is the WordPress address, and this is the website address. They are normally the same, but if you install WordPress on a website where the WordPress is in its own folder, you, those will be different. And that's really advanced. We're not going to go there. Here is a section on membership. Anyone can register. I recommend leaving that blank. Here is site language. You can translate the back end of your WordPress in many languages. You can, it's English by default because that's where WordPress originated and that's where most of the users are. But you can see that there's Arabic and Urdu and Ukrainian and Dutch and many other languages here. This is your time zone. I happen to be in plus seven. The date format can be set to your preference here, and the time format can be set to the custom of your locale here. And you can say week starts on Sunday or Monday or any other day here. Always remember to save changes when you're doing this because WordPress is built mostly in PHP, which means you can code all you want, but unless you save it, it's gone. So save changes on every page in the admin. 
Next, we're going to go to the Writing tab. And this says default post category is uncategorized. And I think that that means you don't know what you're doing with WordPress. So let me show you how to change that. We go to Posts, Categories, and what most people don't know is you can come over here and click on Uncategorized, and you can make it anything you want. I can't write this morning. Okay. The name is the people-friendly term, and slug is the machine-friendly term. And we're just going to erase slug and click update, which is the same as save. And now when we have categories, the main category is blogging. And now we can say we want to add another category. We can say marketing and save new category. You don't need to type in the slug because it will automatically be entered. So now when we go back over to settings, writing, the main category for your posts is now blogging. And it looks like you know what you're doing. Save changes. And we're going to go to reading. There isn't much that you need to change here unless you want to. But my preferences are that you want your latest posts on the home page. I used to think that I wanted a dedicated home page, and I've changed my mind. But if you do, what you want to do is you go to pages, all pages, and you will say add new. There's a, a box at the top of the page. You can also find add new in the left menu. They do the same thing. I'm going to name this page home. We have to come over here and publish it in order for it to be selectable. After you make the home page, you will also need to make a blogs page. So I'm going to add new and add blog page. I'm going to publish that and now come back into the admin and down to settings, reading. And now when we choose a static page, we can choose home for the home page and blog for the posts page. I'm going to leave this to latest posts. In my experience, that's been working better. Blog pages are set by default to be 10. In my experience, usually you get three columns across the page. And so you want either three, six, or nine. And my preference is for nine. So I'm going to click that down to nine. And if you put the whole article on the home page, it's a lot of material. What I think is better for SEO and organization is to use an excerpt of your post. So on the home page, you will have nine of your latest posts. And typically for me, we would have the photo, the title, and the first 20 or 25 words of that article in each section. And down here is discourage search engines from indexing this site. This has gotten lots of people in trouble. Do not click this button unless you really make sure that you unclick this button when you want to publish. Personally, I don't recommend that you click this. I know of a very successful business in California where the man spent 30,000 
dollars on getting his website built. And then they didn't turn this off and Google ignored his website. You don't want to make that mistake. Click Save Changes and we go to Discussion. And in my experience, comments used to be useful. It meant people were engaging with your website. But honestly, in the modern world, I turn all of these off. I do not want comments on my websites. 99% of the time, those are spam. And they're written by robots that are designed to waste your time putting links to their website on your website. And it's much easier if you just don't even allow them. So I check, uncheck all of these boxes and I uncheck show avatars and I save changes. Media is pretty much fine the way it is. They're saving three different sizes. A small size is automatically going to be generated for smartphones and medium is for tablets. And then the large size is for laptop and desktop size versions of your website. And that's fine. The organize my uploads into month and year based folders is checked. And I recommend that you keep this. It takes time to search. So if you chop that up into month and year folders, and it can find the right one very quickly. And speed is important. So leave that box checked. We don't need to save changes, but uh, that's a good habit to get into. Permalinks. You know, at the very beginning, this plain link is what people used, which is your domain.com slash question P equals the post number. That's how the machine knows which post you're looking for. But the Google machine doesn't know what post 123 is about. What you want to do, in my opinion, is you want the post name. There is a famous radio talk show host on KQED in San Francisco. Her name is Moira Gunn. I love that name. She's a very attractive woman. She's got a PhD. She's in the heart of Silicon Valley, and she interviews tech people about what is going on on her radio show called Tech Nation. She's the originator of this material. She should be first in Google, and she's not. Her page ranks on page three. Everybody that talks about her articles ranks number one in Google when you search for that article. That's because her WordPress is set to the old structure. And Google says, yeah, I know about that article, but it was published last week, and that's old. So if you want to be first in Google for your own material that you create, you want to select post name in your permalink settings. There's also a base, um, an optional base at the bottom. You can say, choose the category or tag that is most important in your website. Google doesn't even use tags. You can set the categories somewhere else. Don't bother. Save changes. And 
The last on this list is privacy policy. WordPress has a privacy policy that is written by default. That's kind of a boilerplate guide for you to use. And I recommend that you use that, but you probably want to go over and look at it first. And you can click the edit button. At the top, you have the link to the privacy guide that WordPress provides. They have suggested content in bold. And under comments, what I say is we do not accept public input. And what that means is that all of these paragraphs about comments, media, cookies, really doesn't apply. It's up to you. But once you have edited this, publish the page, and then come back to your settings. That's how I set up WordPress. If I set up WordPress for you, that's how I will do it. I hope you enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you on the inside in the next video. Bye for now.